Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop in here and do a quick little birthday haul for you guys. Um, my birthday was last week and I just wanted to show some of you guys the items I bought and were gifted from my friends and family. Um, so if you're interested in this video, do stay tuned. Also for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. So all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. And if you guys like these kind of videos, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys, if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, consider liking and subscribing and you can follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So the first item I got is this cute little Squishmallow here from one of my friends. And if you don't know what like Squishmallows are, they are like these really cute little pillows um, and like stuffed animals that you can get, I believe. And they come in so many fun sizes um, and they have different collections too. So this one is like a Hello Kitty one. And on the front of the little tag here, you can see the different um, other Squishmallows in the collection. And um, I believe she got me this one at GameStop, but you can get um, Squishmallows pr like, a, like at a lot of like different stores. So you can get them like Walgreens, Target, and I believe like Costco as well. So if you're looking for Squishmallows, you can check them out there. Um, and I believe like Costco specifically usually has like the really big ones if you want a larger Squishmallow. And then Target, Walgreens, and um, GameStop will have the smaller ones. Um, but there's that. Okay, so next is a t-shirt from one of my friends, and it is a Twice t-shirt, which is a really cool, um, like, K-pop group, and, um, it has just the word Twice on the front, and then two hearts on the back, like so, and it is a really pretty, like, coral, like, salmon color, and if you have not listened to any music yet, their new song, Alcohol Free, is pretty good, and it's from their new album, um, Taste of Love, and so yeah, go stream the song, but there's that. The last gift I got is this really cute um, card case or card holder and it is from Kate Spade. So it is the Kate Spade outlet um, strawberry collection that they had like for this spring. And as you can see, it is in a really cute like coral pink color with two strawberries on the front and then the Kate Spade logo in the center like so. And then on the back, you'll see that it has all the card slots there. So you have all these card slots and then um, two here and then a larger slot pocket and then also um, a zip compartment as well as lining the fabric. And I thought that this was gonna be maybe like a little bit too big um, when I picked it out, but honestly, it holds um, a lot of cards, which is good. And it also is like not too bad because it is pretty slim in profile, as you can see, because it honestly is more of like a pouch um, with a ton of card slots in the back. But because it is like very slim in profile, it actually fits in a lot of the front pockets of like small to medium bags really well. And then obviously easy like the main compartment too. So, and I'm also using it now and I like it a lot. So there's that. Okay, so next are going to be the items that I bought for myself. And I'm going to start out with SLGs. So sticking with the theme of like Kate Spade outlet, I um, also got these two really cute card cases too. This one is a yellow one that is quilted on the front and solid on the back. And then it just has the Kate Spade logo right there in the center. And then the other one is this really cute one here, which is, I think they're interlocking spade print. I'm not super well versed with Kate Spade, but um, I think it's just a really cute print. I love the tan taupe color. And again, it also has a Kate Spade logo on the front. So next are these two um, cute makeup bags that I'm gonna be using them more as like catch-alls in my bags um, to hold like miscellaneous items. So the first one I got is this one here, which is from the Kate Spade outlet as well as like the card cases. And it is in a really pretty floral print. Um, the background is navy, and then it has these like white flowers on the front and back. Um, it is in a really like pretty durable nylon material with the spade logo on the front. And then on the inside, it is just pretty simple. It is just like a black nylon material liner, and the zipper teeth on this one are plastic, like so. And this is what the little zipper tab looks like, like that. So yeah, and then here is the other makeup bag. And this one is a little bit different because it is in like the white pebbled leather with the floral embossing. And I honestly just bought this one because I loved the super like domed shape. It looks really cute. And on the inside, it just looks like this. So it is lined in a wipeable material and it has two slip pockets on each side. And on the back slip pocket here, you'll see that it says, um, 
that it doesn't say, but it has like the story patch of the item right there. And then this is what the bottom looks like. And then we just have a little brass C logo on the front like so. Go ahead and move into the handbags. And the first one I want to talk about is this one right here, which is the um, field bucket bag in the color ivory. And I bought this bag just because I thought it'd be a really great bag for spring and summer um, because of the light signature jacquard material. And when I was deciding on color, um, I was kind of like torn between the navy and the ivory color. And I asked you guys on Instagram which one I should get. And a lot of you guys did end up voting for the navy one. Um, but when I was playing around with the navy one a second time at the store, I, I felt like the color was kind of hard um, to combine my wardrobe. So I went ahead and got the ivory one just because I feel like this color goes a lot more with my clothing. Um, and I don't know, I also just like the fact that this color too also feels more spring and summery to me, while the navy one looks a little bit maybe like late summer to fall, um, in like the color combo that it was in. So I, I don't know, I'm really happy with this decision here, um, with the ivory one. And when it comes to the details of the bag, it is, um, pretty versatile as well. So you have a short little top handle right here that is removable, and this one is in leather. And then you do also get a longer adjustable um, crossbody strap and um it is in the nylon webbed material um just like the other items from like the field collection and then this one does not come with a bag chain i added this on there for decorative purposes but i think it looks really cute with the extra bag chain like so and this is what the bag of the bag looks like it is completely symmetrical so the front and the back do look the same and then it does have four feet on the bottom and it is a leather base as well and then on the inside of the bag is just one large open compartment like so so if you are somebody who does not like um dividers this is a great bag for you and it does have a zip pocket in the back and then a little story patch as well and then to close the bag you just use the drawstrings and they are pretty easy to use as well so this is what the bag looks like closed and then when it comes to this bag i've had a couple of people request a review of this bag so i will be definitely doing that for you guys um and i think i will try and get a review out um near the end of this week or early next week. So yeah, there is that. So bag number two is going to be the Cassie 19 in black with um, brass hardware. And this bag I'm not going to talk too much about just because I feel like everybody knows about the Cassie 19. Um, but I already have the chalk one, which you can see behind me. And I like the bag so much that I went ahead and just got this one. Um, just because I know that um, Coach is discontinuing this style and they are also selling out pretty fast so i went ahead and got it just before um you know like i missed out on getting this bag and i don't want fomo so i went ahead and got it um i'm pretty sure you all know about this bag but the inside just has three compartments like so and then the longer strap is on the inside with a short strap right there and then the bag does also have a back pocket as well um Overall, it is a really great style, really great for every day. I'm probably just going to save this bag until fall or winter comes around and use it. And then I'll just use the chalk one for spring and summer. And I've also had a couple of people ask me to do a review between the Cassie and the Cassie 19 bag. Um, I just haven't filmed it yet just because I feel like there's a lot of other videos out there on YouTube about those two bags. Um, but if you guys want like my perspective on this bag, I can easily do a review for you guys. I just don't know if like my information will be like repetitive compared to like those videos, you know, if that makes any sense. Um, but if you do want a review video between those two bags or, um, anything else about like the Cassie and the Cassie 19, I can definitely do it for you guys. Just leave it, um, like a comment down below and I can try to make a video for it. So there's that. So when it comes to this last item, I was kind of shocked that I bought it and then I was even more shocked when it arrived and it looked amazing in person. Um, and it is just something that I never thought in my wildest dreams I would own in my collection. Um, but I don't know, I think it looks really pretty and um, I guess I'll show you guys really fast. Here's the bag and as you can see um it is the coach alley shoulder bag um but the cool thing about this bag is that instead of being in pebbled leather it actually is in ring lizard so the entire bag itself is made from this really pretty um 
ring lizard that to put a gloss coating over it so um instead of being matte it is very reflective and you can see the reflection of the ring light on this material as well which i think is so cool it is in brass hardware and it is just a really pretty bag like the hang tag is made from like the ring lizard material the strap is made from ring lizard which is so cool and then on the sides too you can probably see the ring design a lot better um definitely on this side here you can see the ring detail within the leather and this is what it looks like on the inside um it is a little bit messy just because i've been using it for a while so there's a front pocket the inside compartment and then the back zip wall here like so and the entire bag is lined in this really beautiful um burgundy oxblood leather this is a really nice size just because it is about the same proportions as the cassie um, crossbody bag and then on the inside too it does have um, some organization so you have like a back zip pocket the main open compartment here in the middle and then a gusseted front pocket so that is very nice that this pocket is actually gusseted so if you did put items in there it does expand and then the back does have a pocket like so that is lined in leather but I am scared of stretching out the pocket so I haven't used it yet and if I'm being honest I probably will not be using this back pocket because I want to keep it as semi-perfect as possible so I will not be using the back pocket in the future um, but overall it is a really great bag and the material it has been pretty sturdy as well um, I am a pretty clumsy person so I have walked into like not walls but like I've walked into tables and bumped things against this bag and it's held up really well so yeah and I will be doing a review on this bag later on next week um, after I use it a little bit more. Um, and it will also be a review video with a quick comparison with the Alley Shoulder Bag 18 as well since I do have that one in my collection. Um, that bag I just have in the regular pebbled leather so it'd be a cute little comparison between the two bags. Um, but if you guys have any questions you can leave them in like the comments below and then I can try to answer them in the video as well. Um, with making the review. That's it for today's video um, over my birthday haul and the items I got for my friends and family and also what I bought for myself. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the items I showed just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you guys out or um, you can also message me on Instagram as well. It's the exact same handle and I do reply back a little bit faster that way. Um, but other than that guys um, if you like this video enough do consider liking and subscribing and have a great rest of your day. Bye!